Shalom. This is Mary Omni from the World Government House of King David, Holy Covenant Constitutional Enforcer. This is a Republic notice. The title of this Republic notice is called The Enemy of the Black Man is the Black Man. The title of this Republic notice is called The Enemy of the Black Man is the Black Man. When 2013, we have a Black First Lady in the White House in her second term, um, we have a mixed man in the White House and we have a grandmother from the Judah Nation in the White House. And in this 2013, we see the black man, not man you Eason, black, the black man, pointing his fingers, looking for blame and looking to blame everyone for everything that's gone wrong with him. He's pointing mostly at the black woman seed of Genesis 3.15, the Judah woman in which the Mashiach is born. He's in a constant pointing fingers, accusatory state in front of the world, degrading the woman and the nation that he's from and in which the Mashiach is born. So he's pointing a finger and he's degrading the mother nation of the Mashiach. Now this black man is always looking on the outside. And what does that tell the world or anyone with critical thinking about him? That he's looking towards the external to always blame. What does it tell those with critical thinking? It tells them this man has no internal connection with himself. He has no internal measurement of himself. He has no internal congruency with himself. He declares he has no internal strength because if he's always pointing a finger to some external, then he's saying that he within himself is incapacitated, incapacitated in his own body so that everybody external done did something to him because his internal incapacitation makes everyone his enemy but himself, but himself. See, he's willing to give up his internal strengths for his ego that's outside of any internal measurement of true and divine manhood. So therefore his ego, like a child in third dimension that still is playing with blocks in the kindergarten, is always pointing to the outside. It's like he's anal retentive. You know how a child defecates and he looks at his defecation when he's in potty training like it's foreign and he has to be trained that his body processes this waste. And he goes to a thing of potty training and pulling up his pants and sitting on the little potty chair. And then his mother rewards him when he defecates in the little potty because then he's making connection that the waste coming out of his body is coming from him. Well, this black man, not God man you Eason, this black man has not made a basic connection of the truth of life. And that basic connection as the truth of life is the good and the bad is within him himself. His waste and his negativity comes out of him, not some outside source he wants to always point a finger at. So he want to point a finger at because he don't want to graduate like a child in training from his potty chair and realize the defecation comes from out of his body. So every enemy he points at is the enemy himself produced out of his own being. 
because he wants to be anal retentive. He don't want to connect the race and this, and this hardship in his life and even his faggotry, his pusillanimous, his constant need to externally blame a weaker vessel, his constant need to try to act like he's everything by his phallus and ego, his constant need to look and, 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 and look for someone to blame. If he's not blaming the black woman, he's blaming the churches, he's blaming the white man, he's blaming the white woman. He don't blame her as much as he do the white man. He sleeps with her a lot more. He blames the schools. He blames everything. Now, are these entities part of his problem? Of course they are. Of course they are. But they're not the sole source of his problems. For these entities got control over him because he did not want to deal with his eternal self and his internal self. And therefore, he would rather an external source have control over him before he decides to deal with his internal manifestations of his problems. And one of his internal manifestations of his problems is that he doesn't accept his internal soul and heart is connected with the black woman. So he'd rather have a white man on top of him and then stand back and point a finger at a black woman that has his rib and his key to spirituality, frequency growth, and his God, Manuisi. See, he'll, see, he'll still be in his kindergarten pointing a finger at her because internally he don't want to accept that he's nothing without her. He don't want to accept that he thought the grass was greener somewhere else and now he done fought, fell into an abyss of emptiness where all he can stand back and do is to sit in the hell along with his ego and point a finger while he's going. And the sad part is, on the internet now, you even see some black woman following him in his stupidity, in his anal retentive incongruency of himself. You even see some of these black women follow him, asking, is the church responsible? They want to blame the church. They want to blame Dr. King. They want to blame Jesus Christ. They want to blame their mothers. They want to blame their black women. Oh, they want to blame the world. They want to blame everything and everybody who's tried to assist him to truth and real manhood. They want to blame them because they didn't want the internal congruency of themselves. And they always sought and external. They sought the external, just like now. They seeking the external of women not of their kind. They doing this all over the place. And yet, when I talk, some of these so-called goody-goody black men uh, say to me, well, you talk a little too loud and you talk a little too forceful and, uh, you know, you, you, can, you can catch honey better by talking soft and you can do this by talking soft and, you know, and I'll go back and forth with a cat like this. And and he won't shut up about this me talking soft until I said, well, I consider it. Then he'll shut up because he think he done accomplished his goals. And the goal is the truth about him not coming out. See, he don't mind these nitwicks, low frequency man, always pointing the finger, loud mouth and telling the world on this 666 beast internet that the black woman is not nothing. To respect. See, he don't mind that. He don't mind how loud their mouths is. He don't, he don't mind how boisterous they are. He don't mind how blasphemy they are. See, that doesn't disturb him. That doesn't disturb some of these so-called good black men. That doesn't disturb how much he downgrades the black woman. He only seems to get a little inked up and disturbed when the black woman starts asserting truth. Truth about this low frequency nitwit child still isn't potty trained to his own waste product, okay? See, he, he wants to get disturbed about that. And he say, oh, you're talking a little loud. Yeah, but he says nothing. He says nothing about the black men running with foreign nations or the black man pointing the finger and finding every little wrong in his, in, in his life is now blamed on a black woman. He never points at a daddy that abandoned him at 70 and 80%. No, 
This black man is the lover of himself, therefore he is the downfall of himself. And he never wants to point a finger at that. He never wants to point a finger at holding himself accountable. He never wants to point a finger at the black woman having to speak because she has nobody that has her back enough to speak for her when these other black low frequency men is downgrading her all in front of the world and he's quietly walking around like it's not affecting him. But then when the cab pass him by and the karma he receives or he gets locked up in jail, then he'll understand the black man is his enemy, okay? That black man is his enemy. He's not only the enemy downgrading the black woman. If you're born from the black woman, he is your enemy. You are the enemy of yourself. You are the enemy of your male self and your male kind. You can tell a black woman to hush up all you want. That ain't going to stop you from being an enemy of yourself, and that ain't going to stop you from being caught up in the karma, and that ain't going to stop you from the world image looking at you like you some kind of bamboozled, nitwitted fool in the 21st century. See, because the world is smarter than you. The world is smarter than you, you'd rather hold on to this external ego even though you know, even though you know it's your demise. You're going to hold on to it for pride's sake. And then you're going to point a black woman and then you're going to stand like Hebrew Israelites on the corner talking from the Bible. Then when a black woman walks by and she asserts anything or she challenges you, you'll put something on the internet like Hebrew Israelites confront loud black woman. Hebrew Israelites put loud black woman in her place. Hebrew Israelites breaks down loud black women. <laughs> You're always about this loud black woman, but you can't stop that stick from going on your, over your head when that cop hits you, can you? Can you stop that? And when that black woman walks by, you want to look down on because she's a Christian and she knows you just on the corner flapping your gums, doing so-called faith without works. So she has no reason to respect you. She knows you away from the women and children, 70 and 80 percent. That black church woman has no reason to stop and listen to you and salute you while you stand on the corner and flap your gums while the black nation is being decimated from your hands, from your hands and your neglect because you're the enemy of yourself. So therefore you can do your nation no good. If you're the enemy of yourself, then of course you're no good to your nation. And yes, you're the enemy of yourself. The genocide rate shows that. I don't need to argue my point. You kill each other more in America than anybody have ever killed you. You done killed each other more than any war has ever killed you. And you'll be trying to take the nation with you in your black male enemy of the black male, okay? You're the enemy of the black male, the black male. Yeah, you got other enemies because you done invited them in. Anybody likes to walk into a weak ass and uh, easy exploit. If you open for easy exploit, then the train will move in. And yeah, other people will become your enemies because you invited them in because you was the first enemy of yourself and failed to look in the mirror. Failed to look in the mirror because you want to busy point a finger. But the point a finger and all these you accusing the black woman of, Dr. King of, the church of, is you pointing at the ugliness in yourself that you haven't, you haven't come to grab because you're still in potty training and you're still crapping on yourself and acting like it's not coming from your body. So in other words, a two-year-old done graduated above you, but yet you sit, think you could sit back and point fingers and call the black woman your enemy and call the church your enemy and call Christianity your enemy and call Jesus Christ your enemy and call the mother of creation your enemy, Eve. The mother of all living, your enemy, and everybody your enemy. Because you don't know you crapping on your own self. And black woman, I warn you, I warn you, you better act like you got more critical thinking than these black men. Because that's why you went into eight captivities with them, acting like you didn't have no critical thinking. Following these nitwits who want a glory within themselves, and they ain't doing nothing but crapping on themselves and the nation, and that's all they ever did. They are vampire feeders, they feed dark energy, and that's why they can't be around you. Your frequency is too high from them, and they don't delve too much in dark energy and negative forces. So your hair, your energy, your frequency level is too high for the majority of them. Because they are the enemy of themselves, so they will see you as a natural enemy. This is Mary Omni from the House of King David. Shalom.